and roll. Hey, what's up? It's Jojo on the radio from KISS FM. It's sort of dark in here because we're in Avril Lavigne's dressing room, and right? And because I'm a vampire. Oh my god, it's so scary. What, what room is this? I know we're in the, we're at the Whiskey A Go Go, but is this like your uh, temporary makeup um, room? Right or? now, this is kind of my dressing room where I'm going to hang out right before I go on and my makeup's over there. Oh my god. And I, there's this like an incense kind of smell. Is that like special Avril no, kind of thing? No, it's not. It's just the candle that's here today. It smells like cinnamon, but I like cinnamon. So I just good. assume every time, like, you know, an artist such as yourself, you go into a dressing room, you would, uh, be so, you'd be pick every little thing. I guess that's not the case. At least not, not now. I've, I've never done that before, but, um, I could. Like, uh, some people travel with, like, um, people who just kind of do wardrobe and dressing room right. stuff, where they set it all up and sometimes take their own carpets and sheets and stuff for the couches. Maybe I'll do that this tour. So you haven't, you've never been a real picky person on the road? Um, no, not really. If, if, if I was at all, I would say a little more now because I've been doing it for so long. I would think But that, I'm yeah. not, not really that picky. If, if you really think about it, if you're on the road and you're picky about certain things, dressing rooms, you know, uh, hotels, you, that's your house, because you're on the road for months. Yeah, I, I'll be, maybe say, like, where I want to stay, and, like, what kind of hotels I like, but as far as dressing room goes, you're just, like, shit out of luck. <laughs> they're all gross, especially if the venue's old, and they're all dirty, and so it's, I usually just kind of hang out on my bus all day long, and I, I don't really spend too much time in my dressing room. What's on the uh, bus that's so special? Well... On, the bus is on, Admiral Taylor, yeah. correct? Uh, no, no, I just kind of get email, I, they email me different pictures of buses and my last bus had like a wash machine and a dryer kitchen and extended in the back and I had a shower, which is good, it's good if you can get a shower on your bus then you don't have to shower where all the stinky hockey players shower. That would suck, yeah. It's really not that glamorous, <laughs> like you'd think it would, it's pretty gross. Is there a no... A no number two rule on the bus. There is, but unless Avril wants I to. don't follow that rule. I do whatever I want. Wow, good. <laughs> Too much info. Good stuff. Though. Hey. Man. So the rules are: if you're not, if your name ain't Avril <laughs> Levine, don't take it up on the bus. <laughs> yeah, they always say like no number two on the bus, so it's kind of weird. What about what you uh, pack before you uh, took off from the house? Like, what's the essentials? Toothbrush, obviously. What I try to pack as lightly as I can, um, but, and this year what I did, um, what I'm doing for my tours, I'm going to actually have a wardrobe, like, a uh, costume that I wear on stage, because on my last tour, I spent, like, being a total chick, every night before the show, ripping all the clothes out of my closet, going, oh, what am I going to wear, I wore this last night, I wore this two, two shows ago, and so I said to myself for this tour, I'm like, I have to have an actual, like, Outfit, something that's I can get away with, obviously wearing every night, just to make it easier. Like no one would know that, but that will make my <laughs> life so much easier. That's, it's kind of, it's yeah, a girl thing. Of that. It's a girl thing. Chicks are very uh, what's the word? Uh, complex. Avril is no exception to that. By the way, speaking of things that uh, you you wouldn't you probably would never you never would see if you weren't backstage here or in a dressing room. Uh, we're gonna fix that sign right now. Yeah. The sign's supposed to say, well, if you can see it, it's sort of dark. It says Avril Lavigne, obviously, Best Damn Tour. That is not the correct title. It is one. Can you see it? It's it supposed to say, say the Best Damn Tour. That's okay. You're good with that? Did you kick hmm. anybody's ass for that? No? no, it's kind of funny. It's not like it matters. All right. By the way, uh, 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 final thought. I know your uh, husband hurt his back. Is he good? Yeah. Um, he has to take the rest of the year off and kind of, you know, get better. What if he wants to come see you on tour? Does he have to, like, you know, walk him up the stairs? And, like, I mean, I mean, I, that's <laughs> hopefully a, that hopefully he'll be better by then. <laughs> <laughs> Avril, uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry to bring you a bottle of Dom this time. <laughs> She's done with JoJo. I'm done with you. <laughs> that's Avril Levine. I'm JoJo on the radio. This is KissFM.com. Blah, 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 blah. See you later. <laughs>